I find that ironic that um, what, what one of the mistakes that uh, I think Lomachenko made when he fought T uh, Teofimo Lopez was that he never put a rematch clause on the contract. So when uh, Teofimo Lopez uh, won the belt and beat uh, Lomachenko, um, he was able to, to some extent, ride off to the sunset and not have to fight him and give him a rematch. Now, it's ironic that Teofimo Lopez done the same thing with Cambosas. Uh, Cambosas, um, obviously... Um, to some extent, after he beat uh, beat um, beat Tiafimo Lopez, he doesn't have to fight him again because the fact is there's no rematch clause. Uh, to some extent, it's more forgivable that it happened to uh, Tiafimo Lopez. To be fair, because by all intents and purposes, and this is no disrespect to Cambosas, but a lot of people didn't even know about this guy. Like he, he got a high level win against Lee Selby, and he's known as a Pacquiao sparring partner. But apart from that, he's not really built a name for himself and he, he was a fighter that came from obscurity when Lomachenko did it it was a lot more less forgivable because say what you like about Tiafima Lopez a lot of people are slagging him off but before he fought um before he fought uh Lomachenko he fought uh Richard Comey knocked him out and managed to win an IBF title so to some extent it's more unforgivable that it happened to Lomachenko because Lomachenko should know better he's going in there against a very good fighter in Teofimo Lopez and he never put a rematch clause in place but I just find it ironic um how things come around um obviously uh Teofimo Lopez was calling a uh, um Lomachenko a bit of a sore loser but now now that he's lost to uh a uh, Cambosas, he's he's acting like a sore loser. Like he ju he just can't accept defeat and accept the fact that he lost. And I know Lomachenko was doing the same thing to some extent. Like he was complaining about his shoulder surgery and stuff. But is it just me or is uh, Tiafimo Lopez doing it doing it a, a lot more? Like he's the one complaining a lot more, saying that he won ten rounds to two and all this stuff. So yeah, I just find it ironic um, the way things work in life sometimes. Like uh, the thing that you criticize other people for. You might end up in a position where you you're doing the same thing yourself, and the way you treat other people, for example, him not deciding to give Lomachenko a rematch, the same thing might happen to you when you lose your titles. Like Cambosas might just decide, you know what, I'm not going to give a give a um, Tiafimo Lopez a rematch. He's being disrespectful, and on top of that, I can unify by fighting a Devin Haney and taking his title and becoming. Uh, a unified champion in my own right so yeah man you gotta be careful the way you treat people because uh a lot of things in life come back to you uh we're all cursed in a way in a sense the things we do the the, the things we say it can all come back and bite us uh, when we least expect it but yeah it's just it's ironic um it's, it's come back to um tiafima lopez and has bit him um obviously him deciding not to give Lomachenko a rematch now George Cambosas might decide not to give him a rematch um obviously hi, um him calling uh Lomachenko a sore loser not giving him his credit now he's the one not giving George Cambosas any credit and saying that he got robbed um and on top of that uh he's lost all of his belt just the way Lomachenko did and on top of that he he never signed made uh, George Cambosas sign a rematch clause the same way Lomachenko never made um, uh, never made Fing Fingy sign a rematch clause what's his name um, Tiafima Lopez so yeah it's funny the way things turn around but it's just the way life is anyway peace out